Hey guys, and welcome to my new LP. It is Lost Kingdoms. This is a GameCube game. It's 11 years old now, which is quite shocking for me. I played it as a kid. I love it. It's one of my favourite games. It is a action RPG which has um, a card-based battle system, but it's all live action. Um, shit, that wasn't what I meant to do. Damn it! This is my new LP! I didn't mean to make mistakes. Okay. So... We are going to start this by um, naming, as we do most times, my character Muffins, because I am completely unoriginal. And get ready, we're about to have some mood setting pre-story. Get ready for this, guys. I'm going to read it as fast as I can. Yes. The disappearance of a small forest was the first sign of the approaching evil. One morning, villagers awoke to find a solid wall of fog where their forest should have been. Some men, braver than others, ventured into the pitch-black mist. They were never heard from again. The next day, the lake disappeared into the swirling mists. It was not long before the impenetrable mist enshrouded the village itself in perpetual darkness. Where once there had been life, now there was nothing but an impenetrable mist that turned day into night. By ancient covenant, the rulers of the Five Kingdoms had banned all interaction between their nations. Now the Five Kings abandoned their isolation and met to look for a solution. Sadly, none could offer a plan to defeat the fog. Terrifying rumours spread throughout the land. Some whispered of tales of an ageless evil reawakened. Isn't that amazing, guys? It's like... Such... A cool intro! I love this game. I will get particularly fangirly over this. Now look at the loading screen art, it's beautiful, it's all hand drawn and it's so nice and you can wiggle this around, you can wiggle it around guys! Look how wiggly it is! Okay, here we go. We are in Alanja Castle, one of the five kingdoms, and the guard is rushing through. And he says, Princess Muffins, our worst fears have come true! And she's all like, huh? What? And then he says, The black fog is at the gates of the castle! Oh no, guys! This black fog! And then King Fury says, Muffins, the black fog must be stopped. We will not be safe here forever. I would not leave you here alone, but a king's first duty is to his people. You'll understand someday. If the castle is attacked, find the runestone and flee. Guard it with your life, daughter. And so, as our father said, we must do. But first, we're going to talk to every single one of these guys. The black fog is upon us, it laps against the very walls of the castle. Okay? And these guys are pretty pretty scared about this, you know. Um, the black fog has appeared over all of Arguil. And um, people go into it and they die. It's serious shit. Um, and so we are here in Alandra Castle. Alandra is one of the five kingdoms that were um, commanded by the Covenant. And each of the five kingdoms is in possession of a runestone. Now this runestone, it has magical powers, it allows you to uh, control cards, and these cards um, are inhabited by monsters. Here's our runestone here. Isn't it pretty guys? And it fits the colour scheme of our character perfectly. Completely not a coincidence, like completely a coincidence guys, it's, it's not been planned or anything. This is just what happens. Okay. Oh shit! Spooky scary skeletons are gonna attack me. I never got anything to defend me. Oh god, 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 oh god. But, guardian of the sacred covenant, the power of the cards flows in your blood. Unleash your power! And we have this massive fuck off card. And we're summoning a bird man. Now, um, the card summons come in different types. There are lots of different kinds and they're kind of interlapped, but. Um, this is our first battle, it's like a tutorial battle, and here we have some cards. This is just saying that we can use the cards, they're all in that right hand corner, and they correspond to a button. So, you just have to press the button, and get it. When you attack an enemy, these crystals appear. They are primarily energy crystals. Um, you can see in the top left corner there's like an energy meter, and next to each of the cards there's like a little energy crystal. That's their cost. So, if you don't have enough crystals, it costs you HP to summon. Okay, so, we defeated the skeleton, and we've got some experience. Some of the um, the leftover crystals that don't heal your um, energy meter, they go on to experience, so go pick them up. But here we go, that was it! Didn't even lose any cards. Isn't that crazy? 
So, okay, let's go. Who the fuck is that? What you wearing, girl? Okay, did you get the cards? Good, then let's be off. You're not exactly the most fearsome warrior in the kingdom. I don't suppose you have a burly brother stashed away somewhere. I killed him and I put him in the closet. So be it. Even the ugliest oyster may contain a beautiful pa You saying I'm strange? Although you look more like the pearl than the oyster. Who am I, you ask? I'm the only person who can teach you how to use those cards you found in the treasury. You better come with me if you want to stay alive. Come now, my cute little guardian of the covenant. You just leave everything to old Gerd. Okay, so we've met the strange person called Gerd. Here we are, we've got our statistics for level. And we have done very well, we've got 5 star rating. And here we can pick a load of cards. The bonus cards you get depends on your rating. But since we got 5, we get 3 cards, and that's fine. And we get a fairy and 2 birdmen. It's a shame we didn't get the skeleton, oh well. I do like the skeleton card. But there we go. Um, I'll explain more in the next level, this is kind of like a little bit of story. Princess of, the Princess Muffins of Alamja has defeated the monsters that threaten the castle. Her victory provides little relief. Despite any efforts to stem the tide of the mist, more areas fall victim to the black fog each day. No one knows where it comes from, or why it's appeared. Unless the secret of the black fog can be unlocked, the entire world will fall into the darkness. Entrusted in the defence of the castle to her knights, the princess sets forth for the quest to save the world, like in every good RPG. Her only companion on the journey is the mysterious old crone, Gerd. Okay, and then this is just a load of shit about decks. Um, just saying that you can only have 30 cards in your deck at a time, which is fine. Uh, we can edit the deck on the world map. Basically what it said was that, you know, we can just add stuff in. We haven't got many cards right now, so we've got an incomplete deck and we don't have much choice. Um, so we'll just close that and we'll head to the next map, which is the Plains of Roll. Guided by the mysterious old crone Gerd, the princess has come to the Plains of Roll. Her long journey has only just begun. So all we got to do is complete the combat training, not a big deal. I'm getting stalked by wolves in this cutscene apparently. Oh well. And here's Gerd again, so we'll go talk to her. Now let's see, Muffins, wasn't it? You have much to learn, your highness. The guardians of the runestone are given the power to command monsters through the cards of the power. The power is the only chance we have of defeating the evil loosed upon the world. Whether you like it or not, we must stand up and fight. First, you'll have to learn how to control the monsters. I will teach you the way of the cards. This place is full of goblins, and that makes it the perfect place to start your training. Are you ready? I don't give fancy lectures. You'll figure it out once you see those goblins coming. So, we've got to fight a load of goblins in this map, great. But first of all, we're going to open this chest. There are chests on most maps, they almost always contain cards. Um, Hobgoblin. I hate the Hobgoblin card. You'll see why I hate it in a second when we fight one. The, the cards are the, exactly the same as the monsters you fight. Okay, you'll use the power of the cards to defeat the monsters, and then that's... the 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 the. Here comes your first goblin. It's just, this is combat training, it's just telling you how to fight, but I know how to fight. So it's, it's it's just for your guys' sake. Okay, here's this hobgoblin that I just got a card of. I let it attack. It just farts. It is pathetic. But we'll defeat it anyway. Collect these energy crystals. And that's the end of the battle. And we'll go to the edge because that stops any more encounters happening. And we've got some experience. It's not bad for a beginner. Calm your highness, we must continue on. Okay, great. So we can continue onwards. We've got a split in the path. Um, we're gonna have to fight something anyway. This is predictable. I've played this for a couple of times. Okay, in order to use a card, you need power. I've just explained that. Magic stones. I explained that in the first mission. You got the magic stones in the top left. You need to collect them so you can summon monsters. Okay, we have a plant and a mandragora. Mandragora is silly and it didn't hit me, so that's okay. Um, okay, so do you guys like Pokemon? Do you like type advantages? Good, because this game's full of type advantages. Um, there are five elements in this game. Um, it's fire, water, stone, and... Wood. Um, the type advantages, um, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but I think that um, fire's strong against wood, wood's strong against ground, ground's strong against water, and water's strong against fire, something like that. Okay, so we've got another chest. Hope it's not another hobgoblin card! Oh wait, it is. Fuck my life. And we've got some soldiers here. Cursed goblins! 
They better not be around when these wounds heal or they'll be sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, you're so tough, bro. I chased a group of monsters away from the castle and ended up in a spooky place. There are more monsters lurking around, so please be careful, your highness. Will do, bruh. Don't worry, guys. I got this. I got this. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, so up we go to the next bit. We have another uh, chest. I hope this isn't a hobgoblin card. Hooray, it's not, but it's a man trap. Boo. Oh, that's what it's called. Okay, these stones just have um, the type advantages on it. You can see that it's um, just how I explained it. And, you know, it's not that interesting. I'll give you the short version, so it's fine. Okay, so, monsters have... She's just saying it. This is the attribute. Fire, water, wood, earth, neutral. Fire beats wood, wood beats earth, earth beats water, and water beats fire. Yep, it's fine. And, yeah... Neutral he, neutral is basically only boss battles, and later in the game there are a lot of neutral monsters, but it's fine. Um, and then um, there's different types of summons. Okay, so you've got weapon creatures, which is what that lizard man card that I was using is, and the, um, the raven, that's a weapon type card. It just summons an attack, and it just goes straight for it. Um, there's um, independent monsters which come up and move around. I might use one in this fight, but we'll see. I hate them. And then there are summons which um, perform a certain action and disappear. Right. In this match you can see there's a card just under this caravan. You can actually destroy it. Which I'll try to do. The man trap won't be very good because it hasn't got a type advantage. Um, let's see. Got it. Now you can only de um, destroy those things in battle, so you have to kind of plan sometimes to get it right. Um, but we'll get this card now. Not bad for a beginner. No, 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 no. I am a beginner, bitch. So we'll pick this card up. If we can get to it. There we go. It's a mummy! Hooray! Um, a mummy is an action card. It's an um, attack. Okay, so... Every now and then in the levels you have this thing, it completely recovers your health and mana and you can edit your deck in there and add in all the cards that you've picked up. So it's it's super useful. Okay, now this is just saying you can throw cards away. So if you've got something in your hand you don't like, you hold down R and you press the button and it goes. Which is fine. Um, so say I don't want this hobgoblin, I can just throw it away. I'll get another fucking go hobgoblin, but screw it, I'll just get rid of all of those cards. Now here we have this mummy that we just picked up. Okay, and we can hit both of them with that, economise a bit, and hit that with the lizard man. Okay, we'll get all of these stones, and we'll head up to here, because there is a chest we can get. Well, well, I didn't think you had it in you. There's more to you than meets the eye, Princess Muffins. Queen of the baked goods. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Oh yeah, there is a there is a thing, it's up here. Okay. We are going to get this. I hope it's not a hobgoblin card. Hooray, it's a dark raven card. Woohoo! I like them also attacks, they're awesome. Okay, up this path you'll find the boss of the goblins. Remember what I have taught you. Now go! Teach him what a princess of Alanja can do. Maybe in a bit. Maybe in a second. I got shit to do, bruh. I'm gonna do this. Okay. In this whist. Oh, I didn't get the fight! I didn't get the fight, guys! Fuck yeah! And I get a Mandragora. Sweet! Oh, uh, yeah, there's the encounter. And um, we have another Mandragora and a Man Trap. Now, I am actually gonna summon a Hobgoblin for this so you can see what a independent creature looks like. I will try and trigger this Mandragora. There it goes. And once you trigger it, it's like an instant kill. You can see what this hobgoblin is doing. He's um, farting on the man trap and killing it. But not as much as we'd like him to. So we'll get rid of these cards. Oh, come on. Let's just get that lizard man up. Okay. Boom. Now, I'm going to kind of ignore type advantages in this game. It does help quite a lot, but at the end of the day, it's more about your um, skill in throwing stuff. That's basically it, but here we go. We're going to do the boss encounter now for this level, and we'll see what's up. 
Uh oh. He's seen us, guys! Fuck! This is reminding me of a Pathfinder battle. Oh shit. Oh my god, it's huge! The fuck is that? Okay, now we have our epic boss battle battle music. We have three hobgoblins and a sand golem to contend with. Um, I am going to throw these man traps down and I'm going to see if I can show you something. Oh, I don't want to go that way. Now, these are going to drop gems, so we'll just run around and pick those up while... Uh... Oh god, I don't know where he's going to come up. He didn't. Okay. What is independent creature is fighting? Okay. The crates will also yield stuff, so that's cool. Right. Let's summon this hobgoblin. We're trying to use as few cards as possible. So. We'll wait for that hobgoblin to die. Okay, there it goes. Um, get rid of these fairies. We don't really need the fairies. And I will summon the birdman. Now hopefully the birdman will go through both of them and the sand golem won't use his burrowing attack. Okay, great. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, something about this game. When you're throwing a card, you are invincible. So if you know you're going to get hit and you don't want to get hit, you throw a card and hope for the best. Now hopefully this man trap will do quite a bit of damage, um, but probably not. Throw away this fairy, I don't really need it. Okay. This is probably boring for you guys, but whatever. Um, this man trap is going to do some damage. Just wait and see. Um, I'm going to try what's called a capture throw on this, where you hold down L. Okay, that didn't help. Nope, I guess you can't do capture throws on bosses. <laughs> Damn it. Um, the bosses are available as cards, but um, we'll have to get it at the end. Okay, so completed level. I'll explain more about capture throws in the next episode probably um, we'll complete this one and then we'll call it a day so here we go level cleared we have used 10 cards and defeated 11 enemies and we've got five stars so well done us i guess we get to pick three more cards here i'll take those three and ah, uh, no no <laughs> fuck i hate hobgoblins i hate them they're useless no ah lame okay so we can now go to the apothecary i'll show you guys the apothecary before we go um here this peculiar establishment is run by gerd here the princess can buy and sell cards while acquiring valuable information so this is like our shop for the entire game right um here we can we can buy cards we can also sell cards but we can also um copy and transform cards into different ones well, well, you made it this far, and that means you've learned at least the basics of card handling. I'm called Gerd, and this is my shop. You've seen the black fog and the monsters that dwell within. All of our will will fall unless the fog is stopped, and the only runestone bearer can hope to defeat it. Which means, my dear, that it's up to you. I wish it was your father I was telling all this to. But come, I'll wager there's more to you than just a pretty dress and some fancy jewellery. King Fearbane is on his way to meet King Zelnan. I believe his, the goal is to work out a shared strategy. Your father does not have a runestone, and that means that he cannot defeat the enemy he faces now. If you're going to catch up to your father, you must start your search in Blessoon. I will be there, tending to my shop. Oh, t here, tending to my shop. Stop by any time. I've got all the cards you could want. So just give me them, bitch! Okay, this is what I don't get, right? You can buy the stuff to save the world, but it's going to cost you. I don't care about the world, I just want some money in my pocket. This is what these guys are always about, it's like these heroes, right? They need to go and get stuff. Which I'm going to get now. Um, we've got the buy menu, we've got shitty hobgoblins, and a load of cards that we already have. We've also got some new cards, a flying ray, and a red lizard. We've got 50 gold right now, which is what we start off with. So we can't buy anything higher than that, but I will buy a red lizard, because it's a pretty walling card. Um, we've got a sell menu, I won't be selling things yet. We haven't got any... Um, any experience to transform or copy cards yet. Um, when you, you know, That experience that we got at the end of battle, yeah, this is where it goes. It goes into transforming and it goes into copying. So that's fine. But yeah, always in these games, 
you're, you're, you're the hero and you're trying to save the world and you need equipment to, to grind and defeat that massive boss but no, nobody will give it to you. You have to go and kill enemies before you have enough gold. It's useless. Anyway, we will call it day here in Gerd's shop and we will head over to Bassoon in the next episode. But until then, thank you for watching guys and I will see you next time.